Hey, welcome to EPN. My name is Victor Lucas, and we bring you the latest in everything cool every single day. Welcome to our 2018 Rocket and Raygun Awards. We are going through 21 categories in this year's event, and we're hearing from people all over the community to join us and helping you bring some information about some fantastic awards. The way this works, I give you uh, the category, and I give you EPN's list of five nominees. Then we hear from the community. Right now, we're moving on to Best Strategy Game of 2018. Here are the nominees. Into the Breach, developed and published by Subset Games. Valkyria Chronicles 4, developed by Sega and Media Vision, published by Sega. Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden, developed by The Bearded Ladies, published by Funcom. Jurassic World Evolution, developed and published by Frontier Developments. Pocket City, developed and published by Code Brew Games. All right, those are our nominees, but this is an incredibly difficult category. All five of those games are terrific. I want to hear, though, from our community. Let's hear from our community. My strategy game of the year has to be a game called Transpose. Um, it's a weird game mixing time and gravity where you play with clones of yourself. So on the first run through, you go over to an edge of a platform, grab a block and throw it up to a higher platform. Respawn at that higher platform, time resets, you now respawn at that higher platform, walk over there, look down, see you walk towards the edge of that platform and throw that block up and now you catch it. You're playing with yourself, as the game goes you get more complex uh, story, tons of clones, uh, platforming action, it's crazy, it's a mind bender and it's awesome. Okay, we only had one video submitted. That's uh, usually the way it goes with strategy games. Not everybody has time to play all of these things. Thank you very much, VR Grid, for that. I also heard from uh, Graham Coombe, who's got a very big suggestion for this one as well. He says, uh, Warhammer 40K Mechanicus. He says, it's a tactical top-down view strategy game set in the far-flung gritty future of the 41st millennium. The strategy is complex while also streamlined. The game looks, sounds, and feels great. The story is interesting and gritty and the unique characters truly set it apart. It's a 10 out of 10 on the Graham scale, and Graham sent us a bunch of uh, notes and comments on different types of games. That's the one that he was most excited about, though. Uh, so thank you very much for that, Graham. Uh, there were great choices in strategy this year. I think it was phenomenal that Sega brought back Valkyria Chronicles. That was a super fun game with lots of great strategy, but lots of cool action, beautiful story, and of course, incredible visuals. Beautiful game. Pocket City surprised the heck out of me. It's developed by a one-person team in Toronto called Code Brew, and it's basically playing a slimmed down but still incredibly deep game of Sim City on your phone, and the tactility of choosing all of the regions and zones and all that stuff on your phone. It's just so fun. Pocket City is a must-buy if you've got a, a phone that will run it. I was really impressed with Jurassic World Evolution. I thought that that was a super fun game to have uh, dinos chase around little scientists and chomp on them. I thought there was some really great art in that and uh, some good smiles and some complexity in the game design as well. Same goes for Mutant Year Zero, which kind of combines some of the uh, gameplay lessons of Valkyria Chronicles with the, um, the you know, the action-oriented stuff of moving your characters around, and then the turn-based, you know, complexity of playing something like XCOM fused together with uh, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sort of comic booky uh, character design. Very cool game, but the game that we're giving the Rocket and Raygun Award to for best strategy title of 2018 is Into the Breach. This is developed by Subset, who also brought us the FTL game, which is also incredible. It's another turn-based, grid-based experience where casualties like buildings being demolished and stuff come into play. It's very minimalist, it's very simplistic, but it's really hard to put down, and it's uh, an amazing fit on the Nintendo Switch because you'll be playing that for hours and hours and getting your butt handed to you, but still, an incredible game. So congratulations to Subset, fantastic title with Into the Breach. You are our strategy game of 2018. Now we're moving on, and our next award is for Best Sports Game of 2018. Here are our Rocket and Raygun Award nominees. NBA 2K19, developed by Visual Concepts, published by 2K Sports. NHL 19, developed by EA Canada, published by Electronic Arts. FIFA 19, developed by EA Canada, published by Electronic Arts. Mario Tennis Aces, developed by Camelot Software, published by Nintendo. MLB The Show 18, developed by Sony San Diego, published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Now those are our picks for the Rocket and Reagan Award for Best Sports Title. Let's hear from the community and see what some of their choices are. Best sports game, ooh, again, I played a lot of Madden this year, but I gotta give it to my boys, WWE, WWE 2K19, come on. 
Got AJ Styles in there. Got Daniel Bryan's career mode. WWE. Always. My pick for best sports game of the year is going to be Mario Tennis Aces. This is going to be a little left field here, but uh, Servios, they released a game called Sprint Vector. It's basically a racing game where you have to actually pump your arms to run. And the faster you pump, the faster you run. Making for one of the most exhausting experiences I've ever played, but some of the most fun. It's crazy, it's physical, and that's my best sports game. All right, great choices, great picks. Paul Adamson, one of our EPN members, sent us a note. He says he chose NBA 2K19. I've always been partial to NBA 2K19. You guys know how much I love that franchise. 2K never drops the ball, no pun intended, with NBA. Very, very cool game. But I also am a huge fan of the passion and just the drive to build something very special with the MLB franchise that Sony San Diego always has. And I think the same thing can be said for the NHL team at EA Canada. They always deliver deliver something really fun and really accessible. Maybe a little bit clunky with all of the menus that you have to navigate, but really, really enjoyable game in NHL 19. And meanwhile, the FIFA game, which makes all the money, it's one of the biggest titles on earth. EA Canada does an amazing job of not resting on their laurels. They always add new features and new value to the equation. And I think if you chose any of those more simulation-based sports titles, you've picked a winner. They're loaded with value, loaded with replayability, all kinds of online functionality, excellent games. But I think I'm going to be choosing something that's not getting that yearly update, something that's a little bit more special from Nintendo. We haven't seen a tennis game, a Mario tennis game from Camelot in a while. That's why I'm giving it to Mario Tennis Aces, which gave us all kinds of great single-player content. Nintendo's done a good job at supporting it after launch with new characters that you can download. It's incredibly intense competition when you're playing against other people. Mario Tennis Aces is wonderful. It's a great pickup for the Switch, and it's our 2018 sports game of the year.